Imagine boarding a flight, expecting a routine journey, only to become part of a tragedy. This was the reality for 346 people aboard two Boeing 737 MAX jets. The heart of the matter lies in two catastrophic incidents that shook the world and the aviation industry to its core. In October 2018, a Lion Air Flight 610 plunged into the Java Sea off the coast of Indonesia, taking with it 189 lives. Just five months later, in March 2019, an Ethiopian Airlines Flight 302 crashed minutes after takeoff, extinguishing another 157 lives. These were not just isolated anomalies. The disturbing similarity in circumstances and flight patterns between the two crashes pointed to a systemic flaw. Both planes were of the same make and model, the Boeing 737 MAX. Both suffered from unexpected and uncontrollable nosedives shortly after takeoff, and both left no survivors, leading to a global outcry for answers and accountability. The world was left grappling with a profound question. How could a brand new aircraft, touted as the future of commercial aviation, be involved in two deadly crashes within such a short span of time? The answer to that question would unravel a complex web of technical glitches, corporate shortcuts, and regulatory oversights. As we delve deeper into the heart of this matter, we will uncover the layers of this crisis. We will explore how intense market competition led to hasty production decisions. We will scrutinize the role of regulatory bodies and their oversight failures. And we will hold a mirror to corporate accountability in an era where technology advances at lightning speed often outpacing our ability to fully understand and safely manage it. These twin tragedies, occurring within a span of five months, set the stage for a crisis of confidence in Boeing 737 MAX. They mark the beginning of a saga that continues to unfold with implications that reach far beyond the realm of aviation, touching upon the very essence of corporate ethics, regulatory vigilance, and the delicate balance between innovation and safety. In the high-stakes world of aviation, competition is fierce, but could the race for market dominance have come at a deadly cost? The Boeing 737 MAX saga suggests that it might have. Boeing, a titan in the world of aviation, found itself in a fierce rivalry with Airbus, a European multinational aerospace corporation. The battlefield, the lucrative market for single-aisle fuel-efficient jets, Airbus with its new A320neo was gaining ground and Boeing had to respond swiftly. The result was the 737 MAX, a product of accelerated production and intense pressure to compete. But in the rush to market, did safety take a back seat? Some observers suggest that it did. The 737 MAX was pushed through the production process at a remarkable pace, raising questions about whether the necessary safety checks and balances were adequately observed. Were the corners cut and the risks overlooked in the name of competition and market share? A core issue was the implementation of a new software system the Maneuvering Characteristics Augmentation System, or MCAS. This system was designed to compensate for the plane's changed aerodynamics due to larger, more fuel-efficient engines. However, pilots were largely unaware of the system, and it was inadequately tested, leading to fatal malfunctions. However, the story doesn't end with Boeing's alleged haste and oversight. There's another player in this narrative, the regulatory body tasked with ensuring aviation safety, the Federal Aviation Administration, or FAA. The FAA, critics argue, allowed Boeing too much leeway in certifying the 737 MAX's safety. In an effort to streamline certification processes and facilitate innovation, the FAA had delegated some of its oversight responsibilities to Boeing itself. This essentially allowed Boeing to certify much of the 737 MAX's systems and components, including the MCS. In hindsight, this appears to have been a grave miscalculation. In the aftermath of the tragedies, it became clear that the FAA's trust in Boeing was misplaced. The 737 MAX had serious design flaws that had they been adequately assessed and addressed, might have prevented the loss of 346 lives. This raises important questions about the balance between industry innovation and regulatory oversight. How can regulators maintain stringent safety standards in an industry that is constantly pushing the boundaries of technology and design? Is it possible to facilitate innovation without compromising on safety? Thus, a narrative emerges of a company racing against time and regulators struggling to keep pace. The Boeing 737 MAX saga is a sobering tale of what can happen when market pressures and oversight failures intersect. 
It's a stark reminder that in the quest for technological advancement and market dominance, safety must always be the paramount concern. In the wake of disaster, the world watched, waited, and demanded answers. The shocking incidents involving Boeing's 737 MAX jets spurred an unprecedented global response. Almost immediately, aviation authorities worldwide grounded all 737 MAX aircraft, a move that echoed the collective concern about the aircraft's safety. The Federal Aviation Administration, or FAA, the regulatory body responsible for certifying these jets, found itself under an intense spotlight. Scrutiny was inevitable given the disturbing similarities in the ill-fated flight's patterns. The FAA launched rigorous safety reviews, painstakingly poring over every aspect of the 737 MAX's design, systems, and operating procedures. In tandem, Boeing was pressed to take decisive action. The company responded by grounding its entire 737 MAX fleet, halting all deliveries and announcing a thorough review of its aircraft's design and safety systems. While these measures were vital, the company also recognized the urgent need to address the human element of these tragedies, the pilots. Boeing thus introduced mandatory enhancements to pilot training. These were no ordinary updates, but comprehensive changes aimed at equipping pilots to better handle critical situations and potential system malfunctions. This was a clear acknowledgement that technology and human skill must work in harmony to ensure flight safety. Yet the crisis was far from over. The tragedies had exposed deep-seated issues in the realm of aviation regulation. Critics argued that the FAA had grown too close to Boeing, leading to lax oversight and the hurried certification of the 737 MAX. This sparked a crucial re-evaluation of the FAA's oversight and certification processes, with calls for more stringent controls and an increased separation from the industry it regulates. In response, the FAA pledged to implement significant reforms. It proposed more rigorous safety checks, higher certification standards, and a commitment to maintaining a critical distance from aircraft manufacturers. The goal was clear, to restore public trust in aviation safety and reaffirm the FAA's role as an uncompromising guardian of flight safety. This global response underscores the complexities inherent in aviation regulation and the immense responsibility shouldered by regulatory bodies. It highlights the delicate balance between encouraging innovation and ensuring safety, between fostering industry growth and maintaining stringent oversight. From this turmoil, a call for change arose, for greater vigilance, more stringent controls, and an uncompromised commitment to safety. The story of the 737 MAX serves as a stark reminder that in the realm of aviation, there can be no shortcuts, no compromises, and no room for error. Safety must always be the guiding principle the non-negotiable priority in every decision, every process, and every flight, every year. Just when it seemed like the storm had passed, a new incident reignited old fears. In January 2024, an Alaska Airlines 737 MAX, a model that had been under the microscope for some time, faced an unexpected incident mid-flight. A panel detached from the aircraft in mid-air, a situation that, under different circumstances, could have escalated into a catastrophic event. Thankfully, this incident did not result in any casualties, but it did raise eyebrows and questions. These weren't just about the specific incident, but the broader implications for the aviation industry, Boeing, and the 737 MAX model. The incident served as a stark reminder that the concerns surrounding the 737 MAX were far from over. This incident threw into sharp relief the ongoing concerns about Boeing's quality control. Despite rigorous safety reviews, mandatory pilot training enhancements, and a global grounding of the 737 MAX fleet, this incident happened. It's not just a matter of one faulty part or one missed inspection, it's a matter of systematic quality control that appears to have failed in this instance. What does this mean for the perception of the model's safety? It's a blow, no doubt. Despite all the efforts to rectify past mistakes, to put in place more stringent controls and checks, this incident shows that there's still work to be done. It shows that safety isn't just about avoiding major disasters, but also about preventing minor incidents that could escalate into something more serious. The incident also impacts how we view Boeing as a company. Are they doing enough to ensure the safety of their aircraft? Is their quality control up to the mark? These are questions that need answering, and this incident has put them back in the spotlight.
This incident, though not fatal, served as a chilling reminder that the specter of the past was far from exercised. It's a reminder that in the aviation industry, where lives are on the line, there is no room for error, no tolerance for oversights, and the journey towards safety and trust is a continuous one, with no end in sight. In every crisis, there are lessons to be learned and changes to be made. The Boeing 737 MAX saga is a stark reminder of this truth. It's an echo in the annals of corporate history, reminding us of the paramount importance of corporate accountability. Companies, particularly those whose products and services directly impact human lives, must adhere to the highest standards of ethical conduct and transparency. Everyone from the boardroom to the assembly line must understand that the pursuit of profit should never eclipse the value of a human life. It's a lesson that should be etched in the hearts of corporate leaders, a beacon guiding their decisions. Regulatory bodies like the Federal Aviation Administration are not exempt from this learning curve. Their role is pivotal in ensuring that safety is never compromised. It necessitates a robust independent review process, free from the undue influence of the industries they oversee. The public's trust in aviation safety leans heavily on the shoulders of these regulatory bodies. Their vigilance, or lack thereof, can make the difference between safe landings and tragic disasters. The road to redemption for Boeing and the broader aviation industry is steep, winding, and fraught with challenges. Restoring trust demands more than technical fixes. It requires a seismic cultural shift towards an unwavering commitment to safety. It begs for rigorous internal checks and transparent collaboration with regulators and the public. The aviation industry must understand that every flight carries more than passengers. It carries the trust of millions who believe in the safety of air travel. The implications of the 737 MAX crisis extend far beyond Boeing's boardroom. They ripple across the entire aviation industry, prompting introspection and change. Airlines and aircraft manufacturers worldwide must take note, learning from these tragedies to avoid a similar fate. It's a call to reevaluate, to reassess, and most importantly, to reform. As we stand on the precipice of a new era in aviation, marked by advancements in technology and an increasing reliance on automation, these lessons carry even more weight. The delicate dance between innovation and safety becomes even more intricate, the margin for error even more thin. It's a balance that must be maintained with the utmost care and attention, a balance that hinges on the unwavering commitment to safety from all stakeholders. As we move forward, the Boeing 737 MAX saga serves as a stark reminder of the delicate balance between innovation and safety and the uncompromising vigilance required in regulatory oversight. It's a call to action for corporations and regulators alike, a plea for a future where safety and ethical integrity are not just priorities, but the very foundation upon which decisions are made. The tale of the Boeing 737 MAX is far from just a story about airplanes. It's a story about us, about our demands for speed, efficiency, and progress, and the price we're willing to pay. As we bring our discussion to a close, we can see that this tale is steeped in the complexities of human ambition, market forces, and regulatory oversight. The Boeing 737 MAX saga, with its profound implications on the aviation industry, is a stark wake-up call to the dire consequences of prioritizing market competition over safety. The initial tragedies that occurred in late 2018 and early 2019 took a staggering toll of 346 lives. These were not isolated incidents, but systemic failures, pointing towards a grave oversight in balancing profit motives with human safety. Boeing's response, coupled with regulatory actions, brought to light the immediate need for more stringent controls and checks. The grounding of the 737 MAX fleet, rigorous safety reviews, and enforced pilot training enhancements were necessary measures. Yet even these steps were shadowed by the recent incident in January 2024 raising questions about the aircraft's safety and Boeing's quality control. In the wake of these developments, our focus inevitably shifts to the broader implications of this saga. The importance of corporate accountability cannot be overstated. Companies, especially those whose products directly impact human lives, must adhere to the highest standards of ethical conduct and transparency. Regulatory vigilance is another key takeaway from this saga. The role of bodies like the Federal Aviation Administration in ensuring that safety is never compromised is paramount. This calls for robust, independent review processes, free from undue industry influence, to safeguard public trust in aviation safety. Finally, 
the path forward for Boeing and the aviation industry is one of redemption and trust restoration. This journey demands a cultural shift towards an unwavering commitment to safety, rigorous internal checks, and transparent collaboration with regulators and the public. As we continue to push the boundaries of what's possible, let us never forget the tragedies that brought us here and the lessons they taught us. For in remembering, we find the path to a safer, more accountable future.